Wow, it's been a hot minute since I've actually sat down and filmed, but Sarah J Mass happened last week and I was just in no frame of mind to even think about filming booktube videos for the week and I didn't even think to mention it in my last ones that I filmed. But I did miss a week's worth of videos and I also missed last week's Top 5 Tuesday, not that I knew what the theme was going to be. I had a very great couple of days in Sydney though. I uploaded my first vlog for Sydney and I'd have to edit the second one which actually has more to do with Sarah J Mass, but the first one was just setting up for my trip. But I am excited to be back and film and with you guys. Anyway, today for Top 5 Tuesday, I want to talk about my top 5 favorite LGBT books. This was a hard list for me to actually compile, and I thought of the theme, like, years ago, but I've only just really got my list settled to how I want it. I have read quite a few LGBT books, but I feel like I haven't read that many that I thoroughly enjoyed that I really want to talk about and I still do like reading them and I definitely have heaps on my TBR that I need to pick up and like get into but I'm very glad that I can finally get into this list and talk about it. So number five on my list is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare because there is so many different romances in this book to get behind but it is also really diverse as well. It is an urban fantasy setting and there's so much death and destruction and all these things going on but there are still so many good relationships to root for like you've got Alec and Magnus, you've got Helen and Aline and there's just so so many good ones to actually really get behind and really enjoy to read about and I mean Alec and Magnus are so important as well like especially with the TV show so many people behind their relationship and so glad to have them on the screen and for people to see but I just love this book for being able to bring it out in such a different setting and, and I mean there is a lot of books that have fantasy as the backdrop for these type of relationships but I just love Shadowhunters for doing it and this book is 10 years old so I'm glad it did it back then. Okay number four on my list is Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde and I really love love this one too because one of the main characters is Bi and she was dating her co-star in the famous movie that she was in but then they broke up and she's had a crush on this vlogger for like a few years now and I really love the way that she really just wanted to discover who she was and what she wanted to be and who she wanted to be with. Even though this book is small though I did really have a lot of fun watching this character go through her story and like seeing what she was going to do and how everything came to be and I was just rooting for her to get with the person that she wanted to be with and I also like the other story storyline with a girl that had really severe social anxiety but she also like ended up getting her relationship happening as well but that was with a guy but still this is a great book and it also had a great element of fandom in this and I just loved it. Number three is the reason that I really wanted to make this video and that book is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid because damn there is two people in this book that I love so much that have such great relationships but I don't want to delve into it too much because it can be like a key spoiler but Evelyn does have a relationship with a woman that that is very important and I love it but also Harry who is my favorite character is gay and he is a beautiful man he is beautiful and he deserves the world and it really relates so much to this story and it kills me and I just didn't expect it when I came into this book because I was just thinking it was going to be some great romances with all these husbands but no no it was amazing and I made my mum read this book and she loved it as well and it's just everyone needs to read this. The audiobook was such an experience though because I was living it as it was happening. It's a bit different with audiobooks because it's such high stakes and it's just unfolding and you can't stop it like you can't read slower like you just it's so exciting and like now that I have the physical book I feel like I could read this again and just be like mm, because it's so good. Number two on my list is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin R.R. Sanze. I think that's how you say it. This is one of the first LGBT romances I read, so this one is important to me because of that aspect, but Ari and Dante are so pure, like just so pure, and like their summer grow up romance where they just become to care for each other so much. And Ari is just so tortured in his life in general, and he's just always upset, but Dante was just so beautifully happy all the time, and they just care for each other so much, like this was a great friendship, and that's just beautiful story that everyone needs to read. This is one of the most recommended LGBT books that people would say to me when I was trying to like get into it a bit more because when I was younger I was just reading fantasies with just male and female love interests and I was like I really need to like widen my horizon of what I'm reading. It's beautiful. And number one on my list is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. My 
God, this was a good book. And I love this book too for the fact of how much discovery and also pain the main character goes through because Simon is gay but he has not told anyone in his life. He hasn't even told his friends and no one knows this about him. And he starts up a relationship online with this person named Blue and they really hit it off and it's pretty much love at first sight but it's online so it's a bit shady in a sense. They just get each other like so much. They just get each other and Simon has found someone that he can vent to and just talk to and have someone understand him. But then someone finds out and that person blackmails him into trying to get Simon's best friend Abby to date them and Simon has got a lot of issues going through his head and he's got the fear of being outed because that is the worst thing that can happen to someone. It's for them to be outed before they get to choose because it is meant to be their decision 100% and it is the worst thing that someone could actually do. This book handled it so well though like the different topics that come up and the way that people can treat everyone and just oh, it gets me so much and every time I read another Becky Albertalli book and there's like Simon's mentioned or he's in the story I'm always like ah, I love him but I definitely think this is one that everyone needs to read because it's such a pure and beautiful book and so worth it. Okay guys, so these are my top five favorite LGBT books and I hope to keep reading more and I'll make another list in a year or two, hopefully if I read enough. I've been trying to read, but like most of the time I'm just like randomly picking different books that has no schedule whatsoever. So I'll have to see, like I kind of look at the TBR then I look away because I'm like, damn, there's a lot of books there. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!